Okay, so in order to save my back and uh, keep my workshop tools convenient, they used to be on that tool stacker, basically heavy duty shelf standards and brackets with some three quarter inch plywood uh, bases. Well, I took the jointer and planer and I built this flip top tool stand. Um, I used <clears throat> some really sloppy half lap joinery. I could have cut those a lot better. They're functional, um, glued and screwed. I used uh, Gorilla Glue waterproof, and I'm oh so happy that uh, Type Bond 2 is available again. I really didn't like the Gorilla Glue. Nothing against Gorilla Glue per se. It just doesn't work as easily as I would like. Um, <clears throat> the base is just a single piece of three quarter inch plywood. And then at the caster end, let me see if I can do this. At the caster end is an additional piece that supports the caster bases. Uh, the axle is a piece of half inch all thread. And the flip stops are just uh, some 5 16 carriage bolts that I had. Uh, for the most part, all of the materials were spares that were already existing in my workshop. Uh, I did have to go to Home Depot and get the uh, all thread. And the uh, there's a piece of PVC pipe, uh, half inch PVC, sandwiched in here, but... All the lumber, the glue, the screws, the paint. Um, that paint is um, <clears throat> here. Rust-Oleum Painters Touch Ultra Cover Gloss Hunter Green. Um, this is the stuff I actually use to restore old Coleman uh, appliances, stoves, lanterns, that kind of stuff. So it's, you know, you want to call it Hunter Green, fine. You want to call it Coleman Stove Green, fine. Whatever. I like the color. I like having my shop pieces. This is something I've been doing recently. Uh, and I'm really enjoying having the shop pieces painted. One of the things people have been asking me about is how easy is it to flip and do I have to wrestle with it? Well, oops. Got a bunch of dust on this already pins out. I'm only using two pins right now. So, and they're only on one side. I could do better. But let's go ahead and do the flip. Um, you'll see I have shavings that are still coming out of my jointer. Uh, this jointer has a dust port in the back, it's two and a half inch dust port, and I do use the dust collector every time I use it, but for some reason that two and a half inch dust port doesn't do what it's supposed to do. So, anyway, um, so yeah, half, uh, half lap joints on the uh, 2x4s. I took the original uh, mount boards that the tools were mounted on. I took extra 3 quarter inch scrap uh, ply, PVC pipe, uh, half inch PVC pipe, half inch all thread for an axle. Um, it's not the all thread, the, the axle doesn't go through perfectly straight. I thought it was straight. It's not, so it flips kind of funny, um, but it works. You know, I'm not going to complain. It works. Uh, the braces are uh, triangles of 2 by 6 uh, that I cut out of uh, some scrap wood. Uh, and again, the base, just some scrap uh, 3 quarter inch ply that I had laying around. Uh, the screws are... Uh, three quarter inch, I think, deck screws. Um, and again, glue. 
Okay, I ran through the majority of a 16 ounce bottle of the Gorilla Glue waterproof wood glue. Um, I chose the waterproof, number one, I usually use Type Bond 2. I like Type Bond 2, it works really well, it spreads easy. I used the Gorilla Glue wood glue because it was the only thing available when I went to look. Home Depot, Lowe's, Walmart, all of my local retailers didn't have Type Bond 2. Uh, I did have, since then, sourced up some Type Bond 2. My Home Depot has these now. Um, the funny thing is, this gallon is cheaper than two 16-ounce bottles. So, if I go through a gallon, heck, if I go through a quart, I've uh, saved money. And I will go through at least three quarters of that bottle before it goes bad. Probably the whole thing. So, some things I'd do differently. I don't like the way the half laps came out. Um, they are too long and they're cut too deep. Uh, I cut them on the bandsaw instead of the table saw. I think I'll do it on the table saw uh, next time. Uh, I ha have another one of these I want to build, and I want to build it for the uh, scroll saw and the rigid sander. Um, I know weight per side is important, and there's a big weight difference between that rigid sander and that Dremel scroll saw. That Dremel has a lot more metal in it than that rigid scroll uh, sander has. I don't know if that's going to be a problem with flipping it. I don't think so, but everyone seems to say it is. Eh, I'll futz with it when I get to that point. So, anyway, that's the Green Monster flip top uh, tool stand. I'll talk to you guys and gals later, and hopefully I'll have another project listed for you. Thank you for watching my video. If you like what you saw, please click like, subscribe to my channel, and share my videos with your friends. If you'd like to support my work, please follow the PayPal donation link in the uh, description field, as well as support my Amazon affiliate channel. I thank you for all your support. I thank you for all your views. Like I say, Get out there, be productive, be safe, but most of all, be blessed. I'll talk to you later.